Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're looking at a monster. I'll be honest with you. Six by 60 box press. This is the new CAO Flathead V21. And this is size is called the Carb. C-A-R-B. It is six by 60 box pressed. And there is the box press density. Has a very good feel in the hand. Now, believe it or not, there's actually a size, one size bigger. Hard to believe it could be any bigger. It's called the Big Block. It's seven by 70. Whew. That's a big one. This cigar is priced at $13.99. We'll call it $14 and $15 for the Big Block. Now, uh, this is new. Uh, Rick Rodriguez comes up comes up with these. You're familiar with the Flathead series, but this is just, uh, they, they call it a, a, a souped up version. Now, interestingly, this uses a Mexican San Andreas wrapper, although uh, that does not look like a Maduro uh, San Andreas. So I don't know, but the next light, uh, leaf is Connecticut Broadleaf Binder probably uh, Maduro and uh, Nicaraguan and Dominican La Hero fillers. Very interesting cigar, uh, very big. And uh, we're gonna look at it today. So let's get right to it. The new CAO, CAO slow down, CAO Flathead V21 Carb. Now, if you noticed in the intro, you saw my friend, the chief in there early. Well, since he was left out of last, the last reviews, uh, uh, light and cut, he, he pretty much told me either I get more airtime or I'm walking. That would be interesting to see, wouldn't it? All right. This is a large cigar, flat top. 60 box pressed ring. I've got to come in there with a monster. This will do it. This will probably cut about a 80 ring. So I want to take off the very flat part. That was a mess. I wanted to show you what I did, but not going to happen. Although you can see there's the, the cap I took off along with a few other pieces. Well, there's your cut. It's not a bad, not a bad draw. Out of all of them I've had, that's probably the best draw I've had. They've all been a little firm. And by all, I mean probably three previously. But this one is pretty good. Okay, let's go with it. Boom. yourself about five minutes for the flavors to settle down where you can get something that I'm going to tell you something like what I'm going to tell you it's a little different as far as how they describe it in the article that uh, General Cigar sent me and what my take is now I'm getting a sweet somewhat tangy peach uh, citrus peel brown sugar and a thick, creamy nutmeg. Those are the initial flavors to me. Nothing about it screams Maduro of any sort. If the Connecticut Broadleaf is Maduro, certainly I don't think that the uh, San Andreas is Maduro, but that's exactly what I get, what I just told you. Those are your initial flavors. How will they change by the first third, which probably will be several minutes from now. For me, for you, it's just on the other side of this break. But let's find out. Here's 
here at the first third, ash still intact. Not sure for how much longer. <laughs> but there is a little hint of chocolate on in there now. It's primarily a very tangy sweet peach. Some brown sugar, light citrus peel, nutmeg, and light black coffee. There's black pepper at about seven. It's not crazy. It's just about average. Uh, the finish is peach with uh, good lingering black pepper. Did we talk about the black pepper? Yeah, I did. I said it was about seven. The draw is okay. It's firm throughout the cigar. It has some firmness. And for me, that's a deterrent because it's just hard. It's a lot like drinking a milkshake. You know, you can get it, but you got to work. But the flavors are nice. So I'm going to start it off at 92. Um, I don't like the draw. And I don't think that my perfect draw would help this one too much because it's all the way through the cigar. And it only goes about, it may go all the way through the cigar, but that's, that's not, that's not what I want to do. So let's just see if it improves in the second, third, but the first third is good. Not bad at all. I like the, the peach notes, but let's see what the, let's see what develops. end of the second third and you got one of those funky looks like it exploded ashes there but other than that it's burning pretty evenly it's just sometimes they do that you know they, that's really wanky i started to knock it off but i said eh, i'll show it to them it happens now the there is the smallest amount of a chocolate note attached to the sweet peach there is black coffee now, and the other flavor notes are still in play. The, the citrus peel is pretty much gone away, but you've got the other notes, the uh, nutmeg and the brown sugar and the peach. Peach is pretty much the flavor. Kind of odd. I didn't expect the peach out of this cigar, but that's what all of them have had. Medium bodied, if we didn't talk about that before, by this point. And look at the burn time, an hour and a half to this point. Whew. I knew it'd be a long time. Finish still peach. Average lingering black pepper. Cigar is good. It, some of the flavors here in the second third are a little more mellowed out. So I'm going to go 91. I like these flavors. The only thing I don't like so much is the draw is not where, what I would like it to be, but it's not terrible. It's just, I wish it was a little bit better. And as you can see at this point, uh, it would be, it's just, it is all the way through the cigar. One thing that may help this cigar is if it uh, rested several weeks in a 61, 62% uh, humidor. I typically keep my cigars at 62. Um, the draw opens up and this one hasn't been here weeks and weeks and weeks. It's been here a couple weeks. It's probably not long enough. I think that would help it because it's very dense. But uh, if you have one, I'm not one to sit on cigars and let them, you know, wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. But after, if you have one of these after a couple months and the draw is really good, then you can let me know that. Doesn't matter. I'll be out of them by then. But uh, I think that may help it. So we got uh, two inches left. Let's see how we wrap it up.
down to the end. So let's wrap it up. Really nothing's changed. You still have the peach. You have very light chocolate notes to go in there with that peach and brown sugar and nutmeg and black coffee. Medium to full body. Finish is still peach. Finish is nice. The only thing that uh, would make this cigar better is if it had a better draw. I think the flavors would even come out better. I'm going to hold 91 for the final third because the draw is just holding it back. I really think this cigar would score much better if it had a good draw. Because you could get the flavors and you can hold them and you can develop it more whatever, rather than working so hard for them. But it's a good cigar. It's worth trying now at roughly $14. Isn't that what I said? Let me check back here. Yeah, $14 a piece. You're going to have to decide if it's worth it, but you get a heck of a burn time out of it, two hours. <clears throat> and the larger size, good God, I don't know what you'd get out of it. And would it draw well? It is so big. I don't know. But the cigar is nice. It's not bad. It is a little pricey. I think 14 is a little pricey. I hope that's not the norm coming down the road because that's, that's getting up there. But... Uh, not a bad cigar. Your overall score is 91.33. So it's not bad. It's above my 90 line. I could smoke it again. I think I have one more left. I might just let it sit for a while and see how it pans out. It may do better. It may not. I don't know. But that is how it is today. So that'll do it. The new CAO Flathead. V21 carb 91.33